हाउ टू फिक्स अपडेट के वी फाइव जीरो सिक्स टू डबल फाइव थ्री जीरो एक सेट डबल जीरो सेवन जीरो थ्री जीरो सिक्स एरर इन विंडोज इलेवन ट्वेंटी फोर एस टू हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस एरर कोड अपीयर्स व्हेन यू इंस्टॉल दिस जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्योरिटी अपडेट ऑन विंडोज इलेवन पी सी फॉलो द स्टेप्स टू फिक्स इट द इजिएस्ट वे टू बाईपास दिस एरर कोड इज इंस्टॉलिंग द अपडेट फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अपडेट कैटालॉग क्लिक ऑन द लिंक टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अपडेट कैटालॉग फ्रॉम द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन यू विल रीच हेयर हेयर आर थ्री फाइल्स फॉर डिफरेंट सिस्टम टाइप्स चेक योर सिस्टम टाइप फर्स्ट क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट सेलेक्ट सेटिंग्स Go to system, scroll down and click on about. Here is system type. Mine is sixty-four bit operating system and x sixty-four based processor. Check yours. X sixty-four based systems. The first file is supporting for my computer. Check yours and click on the download button for the respective file. Click on both the links. Let the files download. Once downloaded, click on the folder icon. Right click on this file, KV five zero six two double five three, and select open. On my computer, this update is already installed. Follow the on-screen instructions to install this update. The update packages will be copied to Windows Update Cache. Then you will have to restart your computer. After two or three restarts, the update will be installed. If the error code still appears, then you can reset Windows Update Cache. Click on Search. Type CMD. Select Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. Go to the video description. You will find these commands there. Run these command lines one by one. Copy the first line. Paste into the command prompt. Press Enter. Copy the second line. Paste into the command prompt. Hit Enter. Do you want to continue this operation? Type Y and press Enter. Copy the next line. Paste into. Copy. Paste into. In the same way, run all these commands. Once done with the commands, close the command prompt. Close the the running tasks and restart your computer. Then try to install the update. You can try running Windows Update Troubleshooter. Click on Start. Select Settings. Go to System. Scroll down. Troubleshoot. Other troubleshooters. For Windows Update, click on Run. Select the option I can download, install, or uninstall an update. Can we run the Windows Update Automatic Diagnostic? Yes. The Windows Update Diagnostic failed to run. Microsoft has replaced the legacy troubleshooter with Get Help app. This is not working perfectly so far. We are giving a link to the legacy Windows Update Troubleshooter in the video description. Download the legacy troubleshooter using the link. Click on the link. A zip file will be downloaded in your default browser. Click on the folder icon. Select Extract All. Click on Extract. Right click on the DACAP file. Select Open. Select Windows Update. Click on Next. Select Try Troubleshooting as an Administrator. 
again click on windows update click on next repair windows update database corruption click on apply this fix service registration is missing or corrupt fixed potential windows update database error detected fixed windows update component must be repaired fixed click on close and then try to install the update once the security update is downloaded restart your computer to complete the installation if the error still persists you can run sfc and dism tools for this click on search type cmd right click on command prompt select run as administrator click on yes again go to the video description the sfc and dism commands are provided there copy the dism command paste into the command prompt hit enter wait a while until the command is executed once done with dism command copy the sfc command paste into the command prompt hit enter after completion close the command prompt close the apps and restart your computer then check for updates and try to install it if any methods don't work perform in place upgrade launch a browser type windows 11 download press enter click on download windows 11 scroll down from this section click on select download select windows 11 multi edition iso for x64 devices if your device is arm64 based then click on this link and follow the steps accordingly for x64 devices click on confirm now you have to select the product language click on start select settings time and language language and region windows display language english united states here click on choose one select english united states or whichever is found on your computer click on confirm click on 64 bit download let the download complete after completion click on file explorer icon from the taskbar select downloads right click on the just downloaded iso file select uh, mount click on open on the security warning pop-up right click on setup.exe select open click on yes uncheck this box this will take much more time click on next on this window for applicable notices and license terms click on accept at last click on install let the installation complete the computer will restart several times during the installation wait for it that's all friends thanks for watching the video